Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Welcome you for today's scripture reflection of the day. It is from Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 10. Then all the tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and goes after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulder, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having 10 silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Brothers and sisters, both these examples, through both these examples, the Lord is the Lord Jesus is trying to tell us. That God comes searching for sinners. God became man because God loves man and he loves it with all his heart and he loves man with all his heart. He cannot see that the man whom he created after his own image and likeness to be to perish God does not want God does not desire this is the greatest difference between Christianity and other uh, faiths or religions in other religions as we know man tries to search God and here we listen from Jesus God Searches man. God comes searching for man. Like Jesus has said, even the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. The parable speaks about the shepherd. In Israel, Palestine, to be precise, the role of a shepherd was a very difficult role. Because there were ravines, there were there was no flat plateaus, no, there were cliffs. So there was many chances that the sheep may go, go astray. And then there were wild animals and even thieves and robbers who could easily snatch the sheep. So the one of the most important responsibility of the shepherd was to take care of the entire sheep fold. That is why even if he comes to know that one of the sheep is missing, he actually is to leave the remaining ones and go searching for the lost sheep. Maybe through the footmarks or maybe through the way that sheep walked. The shepherd knew every sheep. And then finally when he finds it, he is to come back with lot of joy, you know. Because the joy is that I have found that lost one. That is the joy. I have ensured that not even one is lost. Because the response, one of the responsibility was if at all the sheep is lost, he had to come back to the village and prove, he had to carry the fleece of the sheep to prove that actually the sheep is lost or killed or whatever. He could not just say, okay, okay the sheep is lost. No, that was not acceptable. And also in that scenario, there were many shepherds, 
and there was like a big community of shepherds maybe many many villages combined together many shepherds used to go around so when one one of the shepherd when he comes to know that he has lost the sheep or the sheep has gone astray and is to go searching for the lost sheep is to inform the other uh, shepherds who is to then go back and inform the villagers that that shepherd has gone searching for the lost sheep and the whole village yes and the whole village is to wait for that shepherd in the evening longing for the news you know whatever is the news and when they see from far the shepherd running you know towards the villagers and the sheep was kept on the shoulders no which shows the love and affection no uh, it which also means that again the sheep should not lose no so keeping on the shoulder also ensures that the sheep is now firmly have held the sheep with me no? and the sheep also knows that the shepherd has held it firmly when he to come running with the sheep on his shoulder then when he and when the villagers saw him from far the whole village you know stood and rejoiced and so happy that finally the sheep is found you know and that is why jesus compares this example that it will be like that in heaven when one sinner repents even if it is one sinner who repents there will be joy in heaven the angels rejoice the angels rejoice in the presence of the almighty god about the returning of one sinner not even one soul will be lost that is what god desires brothers and sisters another example of the parable the parable of the lost coin also the similar message is echoed you know there were many coins maybe but even if when one coin is lost the woman is restless she is restless until she finds it so she moves the furniture maybe she goes up and down she cleans the floor again and again and finally maybe in the corner somewhere maybe uh, through a bushel or a lamp finally she finds it and lo the joy you know it's mentioned she calls all the neighbors and um, everybody relatives and she's so happy that i have found the lost coin you no know? it always there is joy when you find something which was like there was all likelihood to be lost you know so brothers and sisters maybe we have people around us in our own families or in our friends or relatives let us not give up on anyone if you know somebody who is not in walking in the way of the lord or far away from the lord let us keep that person in prayer and maybe we can reach out to that person in love intercede give the good news keep that person in prayer you know always believing that god does not want anyone to be lost so we can also be like that true shepherd no who even even prays and does not give up until that person that man that woman comes back to the lord no we also don't give up so we also become we are good shepherd in that sense and that is what is the message today the god looks for sinners god searches god is god is searching men no god does not give up men can easily give up hope of a sinner not with god god loves the man so that he never strays again in his heart there is a joy that that lost one is found when he comes home so it is a thousand times easier to come back to god than to come home to the criticism criticism of men around no? means maybe the when you come back after law, uh, after you give up your sinful nature and you, when you come back maybe maybe it is possible that your own may not accept you but it is not like that with god whatever is the amount of uh sin how great however great it is but when we truly repent and come to the lord the lord himself rejoices god rejoices he longs for us and he rejoices when we come back so brothers and sisters let's close our eyes and let us thank the lord for this message of love first of all that he longs 
for me and so many others to come back to him. He does not want me to be lost. And even if I am lost, he is in search of me. He seeks me and finally he finds me. And lo, the joy in the heart of my God. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for me. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who keeps me closer to you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord.